video i'm going to be making this dress someone sent to me so guys this is basically um i'm going to be cutting it in one piece but you can cut yours in two pieces like you cut the top and the you cut the top separately like the shoulder to the waist and then you cut a skirt like a, a, a top part of it your half length and then add a skirt to the bottom but i just want to make it in form of a dress bodice and just attach the ruffle to it so the first thing you're going to do is just to fold your fabric into two this is my front panel and then this is the back panel with the zipper at the, the zipper one inch for the zipper at the back so basically what i'm going to do here is just what i have as the width is just my um, hip measurement divided by four which is my widest part the widest part of my body plus extra one inch so my hip is 48 divided by 4 is 12 plus 1 inch is 13 so that's the width of my front panel and then the one at the back has extra 1 inch for the zipper and then the length I have here is um, the length of this dress is supposed to be 32 but I added 1 inch to it as 33 that's the main body of the dress because remember the, the lower ruffle at the end you're still going to add to the length of your dress so the, the lower ruffle I have is about so guys my ruffle is my total length of my dress is going to be 40 but the top part of this is going to be 30 32 right so that means my ruffle is going to be 8 inches to complete 32 plus 8 is going to give me the full length which is 40 and then so that's why for this one i added one inch of steam allowance half an inch of joining the bottom to the ruffle and one inch of joining the shoulders together so now all i have to do is just to draw a basic bodies a, a basic dress bodies so I'm going to start with the shoulder divided by 2 which is going to give me 8 because my shoulder is 16. Come down here, mark my 1 inch of shoulder slope and then come down here, insert my arm hole divided by 2 which is 9 and then connect it this way all the way to the top, right? I'm going to try to make the chalk as visible as I can. And then the next thing I'm going to mark is my neckline. I'm going to just use a basic 3 inches of neckline and then come down and mark maybe 3.5 down here. And then just connect it together this way and then for the back neckline i'm just going to do one inch for the back neckline this way and then i'm going to connect my shoulder slope to this point right and then give it a curve down here also for my armhole now all i have to do is to go ahead and measure from my shoulder to my waist which is at 18 here yeah? my shoulder to my hip which is at 26 here yeah? and then the end of the dress which doesn't count here so what i'm going to do is just to mark my bust measurement divided by four which is 10.5 mark that here add one inch of sewing my waist measurement divided by four which is 8.5 add two inches one inch of that and one inch of seam allowance my my hip measurement divided by four which is 12 and then one inch of sewing allowance so i'm going to just connect each one to the other and that's basically all I have to do. So now I'm just going to go ahead and mark my dart. So my dart, my nipple to nipple is 4 inches divided by, sorry, 8 inches divided by 2 is 4. I'm going to add half an inch to it. Mark that here. And then I'm going to also mark from my shoulder to my nipple, which is at 12. So your dart normally stops at 12 for the front. Like, sorry, um, normally stops 1 inch before your bust point. So for my, my bust point is 12. Some people, their bust point is 11, 10. But mine is 12, so my dart is going to stop at 11, 1 inch before 12, which is 11. So my dart is going to stop here. I'm also going to mark that 4.5 on this same line, connect it in a straight line. And then my dart for the hip is going to stop 2 inches before my hip line, which is here. So connect the two together this way. And then I'm going to mark half an inch on both sides, and that's going to be my dart, basically. So this same dart, I'm going to transfer it on all the layers of this cloth. I'm going to transfer it on this other wrong, the other side of the front, and then this side of the back, and the other side of the back. But except the ones at the back, I'm going to take them up to the shoulder length. So I'm up to the chest length, which is this my armhole line. And they are all going to come up here, the ones for the back. So I'm going to go ahead now and just... Um, cut out from this point here out to my armhole my shoulder and here and guys another thing you also have to do is for the bottom part here if you want you can keep it straight it, de it depends on you but if you want you can just come in here by one inch so it will be snug a little bit more and then just bring this in like a pencil dress right so now i'm just going to go ahead and cut this out so first of all i cut from here out take this out 
I cut out the shoulder slope, cut out the neckline. The first one inch I came down, which is the back neckline. I split open the back so that I can insert the zip, and then I cut out the um I cut out the front neckline. So this is all out. And then, like I said, you're supposed to transfer your dart. The dart on the front panel, which is this one, is going to remain the same like this. But the dart on the back panel is just going to the only change is it's going to be extended to the top of the chest line so that's basically it and i've gone ahead and marked it with a chop so i have marked out the lines here so you see so now all i have to do is just to go ahead and join them together but don't forget to come in here by half an inch on your sleeve for the front and then connect it with a straight line this way and then with the curve at the bottom so i'm just going to cut this out and then i'm going to join the the fabrics together i've gone ahead and added my dad this is just the front panel and then the next thing I did is just to mark that will have a, that one inch I'm going to use to sew the side. And then on this side, I also marked that one inch I'm going to use to join the side. And then the next thing you're going to do is I marked my hip line, which is somewhere here. This is my waistline. Then somewhere in between the two is where I'm going to mark my... It depends on you where you want your ruffle, how far you want your ruffle to go up. So I think I'll make mine go up to, all the way to the... Out halfway through, so which is going to be at, let's say, 5 inches or so from here. So five inches just above my hip. I don't want it too high. And then from the bottom here, I'm going to go up by, um, let's say, 2.5 inches here on this side. And then you're going to use a straight ruler to connect the two lines together. This is how your ruffle is going to go. So now, what I'm going to do, the reason I mark this one inch on the side is because this ruffle, the, the asymmetric ruffle is just on one side. It's not on both sides. So, like I said, my, my, my ruffle is going to be 8 inches long. That's what I want it to be. But I added um, 1 inch of folding the edge here and half an inch of folding the top. You can measure this line and use times 2 or times 2.5 of it. So, you can take your tape, place it, measure this line that you marked here. And then make your the width of your ruffle. I've already told you what the length is. But your width, you can use times 2 of this line or times 2.5, which is better. And then you're going to take your ruffle. The one, how you're going to place it is you're going to place it this way right and sew it down but before you sew it you see i've used this machine to gather it so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to sew it the other way around so this way right you can make the top part to go in the top part should go into the seam but the one at the end here will not go into the seam because you have to hem it so this one at this edge here is supposed to be folded this way and you're going to stop immediately before you get to your side seam this one will not enter into the side seam but the one at the top you can sew it and go into the side seam right so that when you put the back panel you close it up inside of it right but this one here don't close it up inside so end it end it end it like this right end it like this so that when you close it up with your back seam this one the edge will still look like this so i'm going to take it now the way it is this ruffle i'm going to just sew everything down so that when i'm done it will over like it will overlap like this so guys once you do that now the next step is to take your back panel which this is my back panel i've also picked the dart and closed up the back panel but i left room for my zipper i'm just going to take it place it here because i think the person was asking me based on the ruffle at the bottom not really the style of the dress so like i said if you're making it in, in, in form of like a half length that means the skirt is still the same method just on how to add the ruffle all you're doing is that when you're done you're still going to join the the top and the bottom together but i decided to make it as one full dress right so and then after that you're going to add in your sleeve so i'm just going to take this now attach the ruffle and then i'm going to join the shoulder together putting the ruffle and then you see i've also made the same length of play the one that is going to go at the bottom here this one is going to be at the bottom of my dress when I'm done. But that's when, after I've sewed this close, right? I've used one inch to sew this part close, sew this part close, and then this will be joined to the bottom here. So let me go ahead and start joining it, and then I'll bring it back and explain it to you guys again. So guys, you see what I was saying here? I've gone ahead and joined everything. Joined the shoulder, joined the sleeve, put in the darts, right? And then, like I said, you're going to put this part. And when you put this part, the upper one, the one that is high, is going to be sewn into the side. But you see the lower one, 
is not sewn into the side because this upper one the seam is going to end before the end because the whole point is just to not so that this seam will not reach this end because this point here you're going to use it to join this together right you're going to use it to join this here so imagine if this here this one this thing is down at this point how will you now sew together you will not sew it on top of this layer so that's why you have to avoid it because this one now let's say i sewed it into the seam if i sew it into the seam now and then i want to round put this get around this one this would be an obstacle so that's why you have to leave it high this way up and then make sure that this one here doesn't get to the end but sew it inside that's why it's high up to above your hip just a little below your waist and then now all i have to do is now that everything is done on this dress all i have to do is just this get that part here i'm just going to take it put it inside this like this right i've already made my getter and then sew it and attach it down once i finish that here pull it down this way i have my second layer and then i have the first layer on top of it so that's basically it. some people even run their own another easy way is just to take this getter run it round like after you've sewn your side close it you can take this getter if you don't want it this method is just for when you want the getter to be only in front which is the picture the picture is only in front it doesn't have this at the back but if you want yours to go around through the back and come back again then it's very simple there's no need to sew it into the side just continue this line again and go down again and meet each other at this end and then that way you don't even have to sew it into this side also you just run it and then they'll meet each other again you close it up and then attach your first layer that's another method of doing so i'm going to just go ahead and join this together again to this bottom part and that will be it thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in my next one please guys subscribe to the channel support the channel leave a comment and yeah thank you for your time bye